What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Dugat, coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> yeah. And today I'm going to talk about last night's trade that took place. You had the Philadelphia Eagles acquiring running back Jordan Howard from the Chicago Bears for a 2020 six-round draft pick that could end up turning into a fifth-round draft pick based off of production. First off, man, I'm sorry that I'm very late with this video, man. Um, notice I ain't done no videos all week, man. I've been ill. I've been, you know, under care all week, man. I've been sick the whole week. Finally, finally starting to shake back, man. And um, yeah, bro, like <laughs> this Howie, man, Howie Roseman, yo, is something serious. Every time we like, man, how we tripping, how we like, we seeing Mark Ingram go off the uh, the market. We seeing Tevin Coleman go off the market. We seeing Le'Veon Bell go off the market. You know, granted, you know, we re-signed Jason Kelsey. Granted, you know, we, um, we picked up Deshaun Jackson. Granted, we signed Malik Jackson. You know, granted, you know, we re-signed Ronald Darby. You know what I'm saying? Re-signed Brandon Graham. You know, we looking at this roster and we like all across the board, we are really, we we set everywhere, man, pretty much nearly, except for the running back position. And lo and behold, not only do he get a guy that's third in the NFL in rushing since he entered the league in 2016, not only he get that bell cow first and second down running back that this offense desperately needs. Not only do he get a guy for, no, he is entering the last year, his rookie deal. A guy on a rookie deal that is extremely cheap. You feel me? Not only do he get all that, he give up a, a six potential fit round pick next year. <laughs> wow, man. How is something serious, man? Howie Roseman is something serious, man. Now, when you look at this football team, you have Carson Wentz, a motivated Carson Wentz at quarterback, who he's hearing all these people, oh, he's injury prone, oh, he ain't this, he ain't that. You know what I'm saying? You got an offensive line, you know, with Jason Kelsey back. You know, now there's questions about Brandon Brooks, man. If he coming off the Achilles injury, will he be ready to start the season? But... You got Isaac Samalo who, you know, he's getting better and better. You know, you got Jason Peters back. You got Lane Johnson. You look at the tight end position. You got Zach Ertz. You got an up-and-coming Dallas Goddard. You got Richard Rodgers as your third tight end. Wide receiving core, you got Alshon Jeffrey. You got Deshaun Jackson to go deep. You got Nelson Aguilar to, to be the quick twitch slot receiver. You know what I'm saying? You got Mac Hollins coming back, who could be a little bit of everything. Defensively, Fletcher Cox, Malik Jackson, Derek Barnett, Brandon Graham, possibly even Chris Long, you know, Nigel Bradham, you know, Ronald Darby, even though he's coming off of ACL, Avante Maddox, who was coming on at the end of last year, Cravon LeBlanc holding it down in the slot. Hopefully a healthy Sidney Jones, Rasul Douglas, you know, Malcolm Jenkins, Rodney McLeod, you know, I, uh, Andrew Sandejo would have played a third safety role. <sighs> then not to mention, we got three picks in the first two rounds of the NFL draft. Wow. <laughs> I feel like, you know, when the draft come now, what we could do is, we could add another defensive tackle for depth. We could add another offensive lineman for depth, probably, you know, most likely an interior lineman, a guard. We could add another linebacker, you know, to, you know, to go on side of Nigel Bradham and to give us more depth, you know, with Nathan Gary and Kamei Gruja Hill and all them, you know, um, we could even we could even still add another running back in like the fourth round or something like that, you know, just to just to have more depth at that position. This team, man, is set. This team is ready for another Super Bowl run, man. You look across the NFC, 
it's no team right now, the way this team is constructed, that I fear. It's no team that I look at in the NFC and I'm like, man, we can't beat them, yo. We beat the Rams last year. We look, Granted, we lost twice to the Saints, but in the regular season matchup, we out there with guys like Devontae Balls be playing corner who, who is in the AAF right now. You know, we in the playoff game, man, with no running game and no deep threat at wide receiver. We got Jordan Howard and Deshaun Jackson. There's no team in the NFC I look at, and I'm fearing, like, we can't beat them. You know, in Dallas, like, bring it on. <laughs> like, let's, let's get it. You know, let's get it, yo. Clearly, it's out of us in Dallas for the division, possibly out of us in Dallas for the NFC. Like, let's, let's get it, man. This team is stacked. This team is loaded. Yo, we ready to roll, man. Like, Howie, you a genius. I was starting, you starting to, you, you be, I was doubting you a little bit, Howie. I'm like, man, Howie, really? Because I didn't really like none of these running backs early on in the draft, man. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. But, man, Howie is, is, is amazing, man. <laughs> like, this team is stacked. We are stacked, man, everywhere, yo. Every position that you could think about, man, this team is absolutely stacked, yo. And we ready to roll. NFC, let's get it. But um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Eagles and NFL content throughout the season. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly. Almost over. Almost over the cold, man. I'm getting there.